I am disappointed. As a Manchester United fan, I am disappointed. Hey guys, it is Finia. That is of course F Y W N. And yeah, I'm actually just so disappointed. A 1-1 draw versus Southampton. I mean, yeah, I'm just so tired of making these kinds of videos. I mean, not making videos, of course, but just I feel like I've gone through such a long period of time of just saying that is not a good enough performance. And of course, Manchester United are at a level where I shouldn't have to say stuff like that. And it's quite sickening, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, sorry, once again, this is one of those videos that won't be edited just because it is a match review, a Manchester United game review. And um, yeah, I just want to get it out as soon as possible. And obviously, editing does take time. Um, yeah, but where to start? Where to start? Let's start off with Southampton's goal. Um, look, at the end of the day, I think it was a very good save by De Gea to hit it out, and then for them to get the cross into Vestergaard, who got a uh, header. Uh, look, Vestergaard's a mountain of a man, super big, super tall, and I don't actually think Manchester United could have done anything but it. Gets it at the far, far post, and just De Gea would never have saved that. The big question is, could De Gea have caught it on his first attempt at save, um, the one where he did hit it away? Um, debatable, I think that's up to you, but once again, if his natural reaction is to hit it away, then I don't think that's the worst reaction. It just so happened to end up somehow getting to a Southampton player. And of course, James, I'm so happy with Daniel James. I think he's really been able to fit into the squad better than any other Manchester United player in this current squad. And they showed up the stat today saying he is in like the top 10 or top whatever uh, players at Manchester United to score like the most goals in his like first four games for the club. That's now three goals in his first four games for Manchester United. I'm so happy with them. And they're all beautiful. I mean, Daniel James, your name deserves to be in the right, top right corner of every goal um, in all of the uh, goal boxes in every game you play. And I mean, that corner is yours. That top right corner is yours. Um, yeah, once again, beautiful goal. And of course, assist by McTominay. I'm glad McTominay is getting his numbers up when it comes to assists. That's super good from him. They did take him off uh, towards the end of the game, which I don't think that was a good idea. I don't think Ole should have taken him off. I think McTominay's way too strong, way too powerful, way too aggressive. And he contributes way too much to the team for you to take him off for a player like Lingard. I just, once again, I know lots of other Manchester United fans aren't big fans of Lingard, but to be honest, I don't, I don't know. Look, he did have a period where he had that really good run where he was taken down, obviously. Um, you know, that helps Manchester United quite a bit. But when it comes to him having a shot on goal, I mean, he can go anywhere on the right, anywhere on the left, and it'll be a goal. Yet he goes down straight down the middle. That upsets me hugely. Um, or when another player has a ball and Lingard could run into perfect space so he could cross the ball and also he could get an opportunity to shoot. And he ends up just going, ah, look, I've never been a fan of the way Lingard runs into close spaces. He never runs into places that could help benefit the team. Upsets me hugely. Um, once again, our defense very, very shaky in the beginning. I thought we were going to concede. I think, look, one Bissaka was dreadful in the first 15 minutes. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. He was dreadful, um, but luckily he can slide tackle. You know when one Bissaka slide tackles, it's over for the opposition because he will always win the ball. But his passing and his receiving of the ball was not up to standard in the beginning of the game. It was not good at all. Lindelof, of course, almost gave away a goal in the first few minutes of the game. But of course, uh, from that point, he started doing well. And I'm seeing everyone calling him uh, well, certain names I'm not going to say on YouTube because I don't know who watches my videos, if kids watch or whoever. But um, yeah, of course, people are calling him names and whatever. They're saying he's a really, really bad player, basically, which I don't really love. Look, he made a mistake. But after that, I mean, he really did push and fight hard for the team. He told Juan Bissaka where's the best place to stand. You can see him at the end of the game. Uh, dramatically like flailing his arms like saying go up go up go up we need a fight which is the kind of leader material that we need talking about leaders let's talk about Ashley Young I think Ashley Young super super um, good game from him actually I'm actually really not disappointed with Ashley Young's um, whole performance I think he played much better than he did last season um, yeah, but overall, I think we still miss Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw is a much better player, but Ashley Young not looking the worst at the moment. I mean, especially because he's one of our last chances. Obviously, now that Delo is, of course, injured, and Damien has now left to Parma, I do believe, in Italy. Um, overall, I think our defense was very, very shaky. I think De Gea did reasonably well, and as I said, I don't know if he could have done much about that goal that we did get. Um, our attack, Rashford, really not good enough. Rashford really needs to be able to get into places where he can score. I did not see enough of Rashford and the huge problem throughout the game, possession. Apparently there was a period of time within 30 seconds where Pogba lost the ball three times. 
Overall, Southampton had the ball way too much. I mean, even they said they lost the ball way too many times. Manchester United lost the ball way too many times. Possession was a huge problem. And Manchester United, how do you go from a 4-1 win versus Chelsea, a huge team in the Premier League, to then drawing against Wolves, which I don't mind too much, losing to Crystal Palace, and then drawing to Southampton? That is not on. What are you going to do against the big, big clubs? Uh, we do play against Leicester City next week, which well, I won't lie, I'm very, very nervous about. And once again, sorry if I can't upload my match week prediction videos. I am writing exams, super, super busy with them. Uh, so I don't always get a chance to upload a video. But Manchester United, I'm really not happy with you. Um, there was a stage where Mason Greenwood had that beautiful shot that looked like a crew. And I actually, I genuinely thought that was going to go in. Upset with that, Andres Pereira, when he played, I always loved the level of aggression he brings to the game. He brings some sort of motivation and aggression and just this whole style of play from Andres Pereira. I absolutely love seeing him play. Mata, although, look, he doesn't really fit into Manchester uh, Manchester United's new style of play with his kind of, uh, with the speed and getting up fast, getting balls in. Um, but the level of intelligence he has almost makes up for that. The way he plays, the way he stops, the way he thinks. He caused some great plays in the game. Pogba won some balls back. Of course, as I said, he lost a lot of balls. He did cause lots of great chances. But at the end of the day, this is not a Manchester United team I am super, super proud of. I'm still very, very upset. Uh, we need to get back to winning ways. We need to get back to the old Manchester United. And sadly, as Ole said, it's going to be a long rebuild. Um, and it's very hard to be patient when it comes to that, when you know the potential that Manchester United has and how good they used to be. Um, overall, not that happy with how we did play. Um, I'm not upset with the goal that we did concede, as I did say, because it was a very well worked goal. But there was a period of time, look, they got a red card and we couldn't score within like 15 minutes of them having 10 players. One less player than us, we still couldn't score. Last two, three, four minutes, uh, Cedric went out with an injury. So we couldn't score against nine players with our 11 players. I mean, that is absolutely shocking. Um, just as I said, way too many chances we didn't give up. Matic, I totally, I totally forget that Matic is a Manchester United player. He came on and it made me glad that I don't remember him. He had a shocking game. Matic just taking shots that were never going anywhere, just losing the ball, being reckless. Not, yeah, just not a Manchester United player. As I said, very upset with this performance, guys, but I hope you have enjoyed this video. Of course, my social media is, is Fincraft Football. Um, Go follow them, you can see when I do upload. And of course, I've made recent videos. I've made a really fun video recently. Of course, I've made my Match Week Predictions videos, which you can check out. Subscribe to me, click that if you are, uh, yeah, if you do want to see more of my content. And yeah, I did make a really fun video recently about the top 10 most searched footballers on Pornhub. So if you want to check that video out, go check it out. But this has been fun, FYWN. Cheers.